everyone, welcome to Adventures in Everyday Cooking, where every day can be an adventure in your kitchen. My name is Heather, and today we are going to do a kitchen hack. This is for you folks who like to stock up on eggs when they're on sale, and then maybe you don't use them in time, or maybe you have some backyard chickens that get a little lazy during the winter. Well, it's about to be winter, so start stocking up on your eggs and use this hack. I actually saw it just a couple weeks ago, tried it out. I've actually been really impressed with what uh, the results are. So without further ado, let's just get started. So what we're going to need is a muffin tin. I suggest having silicone liners because the gal that I saw do it on YouTube um, a couple weeks ago, she actually was sticking a knife inside of her muffin tin and it just hurt my heart. Please don't do that. I'm just saying, don't stick anything metal inside your muffin cups. You will end up with rust spots. It will be terrible. It just hurts my heart. So all we're going to do is we are going to fill each muffin cup with one egg. Now here at the halfway point, I want to tell you what I've learned. So. When you freeze the eggs whole like this, the yolk becomes almost like a buttery substance. It cooks up just fine. It mixes in a little sketchy. Like you're like, oh, this looks a little weird. I'm not sure if this is right, but it works just fine. However, I found a way that you can prevent that and I'll show you. So right here, I have my little Pampered Chef whipped cream maker. Um, and I'm gonna use it just because it's a little easier for me to show you how it works. But I'm going to crack the rest of the six eggs into here and I'm just gonna whip them up a little bit. Just a little bit. Because I actually want them to be scrambled before they go into here. And I'll show you why. Just bear with me. And if you've never seen the whipped cream maker in action before with eggs, you'll be fascinated. I can't do it ultra fluffy because I don't want a whole bunch of foam at the top of my eggs, but this is a really cool handy little handy little product. Um, like I mentioned, we make Dalgona coffee almost every morning here in the house and uh, it's great for whipped cream, for eggs, for anything that you need to be extra fluffy. And now to whip these bad boys up, we're just going to insert our plunger, seal down, and then I'm just going to carefully do this because I just want to mix them together. If I was making this into a delicious yummy eggs like for um, for a nice soft omelet I would really 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 get it going and get it lots of air incorporated in there but I don't need to do that. That's probably good enough. I just want it to be about one egg yolk per hole here. All right. So let's go ahead and take that out and I'll plop it down on my stopper so it doesn't get my counter all dirty. You hear my air fryer going? There's a treat going in there. Oh, you'll see it's coming. It's coming. Okay, so into each one of these wells, I am going to pour what I think is about one, one egg. All right, and now we're just gonna get this into the freezer, but you're in luck. I have some already frozen. So I wanna show you what they look like when they come out. All right, so this is what they look like when they come out. Now, I know that they don't look like much, um, but totally fantastic idea. So once they're out, go ahead and label your little Ziploc bags and you just push them out of the little silicone molds. They just pop right out. It is so convenient, so handy. And boom, they're ready for your freezer. Now, if you are gonna do the scrambled version, make sure you label them scrambled or else you'll be in for a treat whenever you open that up. Um, and to get these ones out, same way. You just push through, grab them all out. And these silicone molds are dishwasher safe. Um, so that's kind of nice. And I didn't ruin my pan by sticking a knife inside of it. That's nice too. Now, when I first saw this, I thought, really, how is this going to work to make 
food. Like, does it actually make and, and bake the same way? Well, if you watched my sourdough discard pumpkin bread recipe, you didn't know it, but I was using frozen eggs. Yep, turned out fantastic. And I'll show you what it is when you defrost it. Okay, hold on. Let me just clean up a second, get these in the freezer. All right, this is how I defrost them and defrost them quickly. It only takes 10 minutes and it's amazing. So I usually put one egg or two eggs, however many eggs you need, in a little baggie, stick that in, stick that in cold water and then make sure that it is under the water. So this is the scrambled one right here and I'll show you in a bowl what it looks like. It is weird, but it works and it's fascinating. You could alternately, I just thought of it, snip off the end of this bag and then squish all of it out. Um, but I didn't think about that until after I was already done. So here is that one that was already scrambled. So I wanna show you what it looks like to scramble it all the way so that it can go in your recipe. So check that out, let me get close. Can you see that? It looks just like, it looks just like a whipped egg. Like it is literally just egg in the bowl. There's no texture problems, nothing. Beautiful, and I'm gonna actually put it in a skillet so I can show you that it cooks up fine. And I'm just gonna spray a little olive oil in my pan. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get this one over here. And we'll just let that one slowly cook for a little bit. All right, whoa. That's why we can't have nice things. Okay, so now let's take our whole one, the one that I did not beat into oblivion before it went into the mold. Now this is the one that had me kind of tweaked out a little bit. When I first used it, I was like, um, I don't know that that's going to work. Gratefully so, it did work, but I was a little weirded out by it, and I'll show you why as soon as I get it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my own trick, use a pair of scissors, clip off the side of the bag, and then we are going to let all of it come out. Oops, probably should make the hole big enough for the yolk to come out. Sometimes I'm special, so I'll just rip it. All right, oh, yolk, come on out. There we go. Looks great. Let me not forget about this guy over here. Oh yeah, oh my goodness, all right. Such a fluffy, yummy omelet going on over here. I'll make it into scrambled eggs though. Okay, turn that one off for a second. Get that off of the heat so it doesn't overcook. And I'll show you those results. Look at that. Looks beautiful. Looks like scrambled eggs. Tastes like scrambled eggs. Fantastic. Fantastic. You always have eggs in your freezer now. Like the eggs in a carton, it works. Okay, so let's move to this one. This is the one that kind of weirded me out a little. Not gonna lie, weirded me out. So let's see if I can get close and show you. All right. So as you can see here, it looks like a Joe Average egg, but there's this weird texture to this yolk. When I squish it, it's literally like butter. Like you could use it as butter almost. It is the strangest and it is totally defrosted. It is just so weird. Like I played with it for probably 10 minutes the first time I did this, wondering if this was okay. It, it really did wig me out a little bit, but I was kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place because I actually put all of my eggs in the freezer because my sister had given me so many and we were already out. So I was like, oh no, how am I gonna deal with this? The good news is it doesn't change how it works. So I'm gonna show you how that it's gonna, what it's gonna look like when you whip it up because it's not gonna look like normal eggs. It, it is kind of weird, it's kind of wiggy. So you ready for this? It's the weirdest thing ever. I'm gonna have to get my hands dirty so you can see. 
so you can see. All right, so here we have the whipped egg. So I'm going to put it in my hand so you can look. Do you see all of those little pieces and things? Like, it's weird. Like, I'm not gonna lie, when I first popped this out, I was like, oh, I ruined all of my eggs. It's weird. Do you see all that strange texture? So bizarre. I seriously, seriously thought I'd ruined all of my eggs. My sister had just given me seven dozen eggs and I put most of them in the freezer because I was like, this is a great tip, yay! And then I was like, huh, sad face. Okay, let me wash my hands. And I'm gonna put these into the skillet and show you that they cook up identical to the other ones, which really doesn't make any sense. So let's do that. All right, into the pan. There's a close up in the pan. As you can see, you can kind of see there's a little variation of color. That's where that egg yolk just did not mix together. But surprisingly enough, you'll see, it turns out perfect. All right, and out of the pan it will come. They're definitely lighter because there is more white than egg yolk mixed in, but look at how light and fluffy they are scrambled eggs. So here we have the pre-scrambled frozen egg, and here we have the post-scrambled frozen egg. They look like scrambled eggs to me. I don't know. Well, that was almost bad. But how do they taste? Well, I'm so glad that you asked because I love eggs. Eggs are full of protein. They're amazing. So I will do the pre-scrambled one first. Mm. Tastes like scrambled eggs. Light, fluffy, amazing. Okay, and we'll do the post-scrambled one. Whoa. Mm. Tastes like eggs. It's really weird. Like, I feel like you might think I'm punking you because I thought I was being punked full on. But this works. And you just have to get past that little, you know, it kind of looks weird if you don't pre-scramble it. But if you pre-scramble it, no one's gonna know the difference. Not a single person will know that you had frozen eggs and you used them. I'm just saying. Mm. They're so good. There is no texture change. They're not gummy. They're not chewy. They've been in the freezer. These, this set of eggs has probably been in my freezer for three weeks. Um, so yeah, this is a valid hack and one that homesteaders should use because your chickens, there are times whenever your chickens give you seven dozen eggs. Am I wrong? And then there are times whenever your chickens give you two and you have a household of seven. I don't know. It's worth the gamble. But it's not a gamble. It does actually work. And like I did mention, I did use the non-scrambled one before I realized I should scramble them first. In that discard bread, it was fantastic. Nothing wrong with these eggs. This is an excellent hack. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. I know it wasn't quite a recipe, but I hope someone will find it to be very helpful in the coming seasons, especially since eggs are about to go on sale. I know this, holidays are coming. And if you can stock up on your eggs, whip them up first, let the bubbles die down, put them into muffin tins, get them in your freezer, and you'll never be without eggs again. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please give it a like, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel. I do videos several times a week, and if you've watched this far, you'll want to stay tuned because I think I'm gonna do a giveaway. You want a giveaway? Give me a thumbs up. All right, we'll see you on our next adventure. See ya. Come on in. Aw, he brought flowers. Look.
look, he brought flowers. 